It's that time of year again in Iowa City. Kinnick Stadium and the University of Iowa campus are silent and empty for just a few more weeks before the students are back in town for fall semester. Just a stone's throw away in the neighboring city of Coralville, 105 Hawkeye students have already arrived. While enduring the restless days of fall camp, the Hawkeyes will call the Marriott their home for three weeks. With the Iowa football facility being three miles down the road, transporting over 100 football players becomes a tall task. On our way over to the Marriott right now, going to pick up the players. They got some breakfast in them. Uh, they get about an hour span to eat the breakfast and hop in a van. We'll have 11 vans there waiting for them. Uh, all 15 passengers because we got to transport 105 players within that hour span. I want to take shotgun. Moving forward, I think right now, the biggest thing is this. Okay, everybody in the room right now just needs to focus on doing what they're asked to do better. Okay, everybody's got a job description. Everybody's got responsibilities. Okay, and it obviously ties into a bigger, you know, framework of things. But really, the most important thing I think anybody can do right now is just worry about what it is you have to do as a football player, and then how can you do it better. And that, that's what the tapes are for. That's why you go out and practice. That's why we meet. And this, this is a, you know, a great three-week window right now where we got a controlled environment. Uh, it's the best three weeks we'll have of the year where we have a chance to really focus on what it takes to be a better football player individually. The players couldn't ask for a more suitable location to train as the team gets an unforeseen opportunity to practice within the walls of Kinnick Stadium. The Hawks never lose their competitive nature not even for a friendly O-line versus D-line punt return challenge. It's not for the faint of heart, bro. You hate Mike, you hate so much. Huh? Seriously? I'm dead serious. I'm coming down for real. All right. Where's Coach Borg now? We come watch. Big boy, talk to you about Carl. About Carl Davis? Yeah, at the end of practice, we were doing a three-on-three -three compete drill, and I told him he could catch a punt versus guys coming down, see how he does. You need some coaching or just, just be an athlete? Heads up, coach. Oh! Carl versus Sheriff. Here we go. Elbows in, elbows in. Bend your knees. Oh, my man. Listen to me. You got to bend those knees, big boy. And squeeze your elbows. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's dancing beer. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got one more chance. One more. All right, last one. He's 0 for 2, 0 for 2. Sheriff's 2 for 2. 0 for 3. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yo. Oh. <laughs> he ain't kidding. After a grueling first day of practice, it's time for the players to refuel. The Hawkeye football team eats lunch at a private dining hall, reserved solely for the team. Players get to choose from a rotating menu that offers a variety of nutritious choices to help keep them healthy and energized. After a hearty meal, the team returns to the football facility for medical treatments and taping, followed by position meetings to break down practice film from earlier that day. For the second practice of the day, the University of Iowa Hawkeyes take advantage of their newly built indoor practice facility. Whether outdoors or indoors, 
The Hawkeye football coaches always expect the most out of their players. Okay, all we're looking for is you locking them out. Okay, you, you've, got them, you've got them locked out. You've got them punched, you got them locked out, extended, locked out, locked out. Looking for a rip or quit, arm over, okay? Hit! Reggie, go again. You don't have to be violent. Here, here's, how you're, here's how you're throwing your rip. You're here, you're here, you're here, and then you're going like this. About that speed, it's violent, quick, violent. Get the heck off of me, okay? Press, press his outside shoulder, bro. Say hit! Okay, go again, same two, same two. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go. Reggie, to, to rip, you've got to make sure you keep pressing your right shoulder, okay? Right shoulder. Say hit! It's better. Whenever you're in, whenever, whenever you're going, it's full speed, all right? It's full speed. So what I was saying to you over there, Okay, as you, you're decent, you're here, you got them locked out, you throw them off, now be violent with your escape so that you can make the tackle. You saw that one that cut, that cut all the way around, how fast that is? Right. That's how fast it is in the game. You know what I mean? So, so if you, you have to pick your, so each rep is 100 miles an hour for you, right? So it's just second nature. It's not like, it's not anything that's crazy to you, right? Because the difference between college speed and high school speed is different, right? Same thing, different NFL speed and, and college speed, right? So you've got to get it up to, to the college level, okay? Set, hut! Good, quick! Quick! Bam, right there, good. Square it off. Here we go, set, hut! Come on, Shump! Come on, Shump! Right there, bam! Right, good. Come on, Jordan, this angle! This angle, now push it up! I need a stair step! I need a stair step! I need a stair step! Come on, this angle right here! Now push it up! Good, now get there! Good. Look at this angle, look at this angle. Now stir it up. Good. Okay, here we go, Goble. Ah, one more time. Let's get these two guys one more time. All right, hey, Goble. Goble, you're punching him right here, right? You want to be down here. You got to have low hands. Low hands. Okay, a little better, a little better. What we gotta do is get your feet in the ground. You don't wanna hop over there. You just wanna set over there. Hit! Here we go, Goble, good job. Keep your base. Don't hop around, don't hop around. Shoulders back, shoulders back. Ah, you're hopping. Keep going, keep going, Chambers. Break! Okay, you know what I'm saying? You hear the head coach? He's yelling as you keep your feet on the ground. Right here, you just started hopping. Initially, you're good, boom, just slide. Don't hop, grab a drink. With kickoff only a few more days away, it is only fitting to end the day with a team dinner at Kinnick Stadium. They know many tough months of hard work still lie ahead. Hard work that starts again first thing in the morning.